Okay, what I want to do now is take you into doing, adding some place marks and stuff. So for example here, I just went ahead and I typed in 1358 Rose Avenue. That is where I used to live. It, it was one of these houses here, I can't remember which one. Um, but So obviously it didn't, it didn't hit the area that I wanted to have my place mark. So let's say that, you know, my house was this one. Um, what I want to do now um, is I want to add a place mark. So up here you'll see this little add place mark button. Okay, so I click that and it says untitled place mark and I'm going to put my house and description this is where I live. Style and color. I can change the color of my label or my icon. So for example if I change the color of my icon and do OK. It changes that. This I can change to a different color. OK. And I can also change the scale. All right, And I can drag this over. I don't remember which house I said was mine. doesn't really matter. And I can change the scale of that one also. OK. So I've got that kind of clamped to the ground. I can have it up in the air a little bit. Again, it just kind of depends on how you have it. And I can do OK, or I can go up and click that little button there. Let me show you. It's right here. And I can choose different icons, or I can you know, add a custom icon. But let's say I want this to be a little house, since it's my home. And I click OK. I've got that icon there. And I will do OK. All right, so now whenever I view this, and you see, remember I took it up off the ground a little bit, my house will be there. So now if I wanted to have, let's say, 1000 Hensley Creek Road, Ukiah, that's going to take me across town. And actually, see that put the thing there. My college was actually up here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a place mark, drag it up to the main building. But I don't want it to look like a house. Maybe I want it to look like, I think I'm going to do a globe. All right. Now you can obviously choose a school or whatever you want to choose. Um, and I'm going to do Mendocino college. Okay, and I'm going to leave those okay. All right. And now if I do directions, I can actually put from one place to another like um Let's say I did 1000 Hensley Creek Road. Ukiah, California to 1358 Rose Avenue, Ukiah, California. All right, so now what it's going to do is going to look at the, both plots, figure out where I should go, and give me some directions. Okay? So now I personally prefer Google Maps, I mean um, Yahoo Maps or MapQuest or something, because if I was leaving here, I would probably get on the freeway. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to go all the way through town to get here. I'd probably get off at the freeway exit. Anyway, but you can see that it, it does work for that. All right. Okay, so I'm flying back over here to Bryceville, Tennessee. And one of the things I wanted to demonstrate here is obviously the clar the clarity of the picture here is nowhere near what it was in the other images we were using. That's because we don't have updated satellite imagery of all these places. Um, so what if you have access to a place called terraserver.microsoft.com, um, which you can get to from the internet, you can search for something like I searched for Bryceville, and I've got a satellite photo um, of this area, which I downloaded, and I can go back over here to Google, <laughs> I'm sorry, to Google Earth, and I can do this thing called an image overlay. Okay, and I can then browse for my picture on my desktop, and I call it Bryceville. And I can drop the opacity 
And the reason you might drop the opacity is so that you can line things up. All right, so I can drag this around, and really I'm kind of worried that I don't have enough opacity here, I mean enough um, detail to even figure out where anything would go. But anyway, once you got that to the right level, um, and I'm just going to kind of pretend we got it to the right level here. I'll drag it over, drag the opacity back up, and click OK. And now if I was to turn my terrain back on, and if I had this accurate, you know, you could view a higher resolution than what you had. All right, now obviously this isn't right, but um, you get an idea of how it would work. So, you know, I hope, it, hope that helps you, and enjoy.